Hello, dear pilgrims. Uh, welcome again to Fatima. We are here in Fatima today to explain you on the, the path of the knees here in Fatima in the Century Square. You saw Karina doing it as a fulfill of a promise that she did. And people in Portugal, they are used to do this, to fulfill promises that they do to Our Lady to for a sacrifice um, as a request uh, so it's very common in Portugal people to do that. And this goes back to a story of Lucia. After the apparitions, as you know, Lucia's mother, uh, she, had, uh, she, she found it difficult to believe that Our Lady appeared to her daughter. Such a privilege to have a daughter who saw Our Lady. Um, and eventually she got very, very sick. Uh, and uh, Lucia's sisters, they blamed Lucia because their mother was sick and because the things in the Covaderia, the place where Our Lady appeared, was completely destroyed. All the fields around that area completely destroyed by the pilgrims. And they blamed Lucia for that. And her mother, uh, they called the doctor to the house and the doctor said that was no hope for her mother, that she was really very sick. So Lucy's sisters told her, oh, you are the one to, supposed to see this lady, so go there and ask our lady to cure our mother. So poor Lucy, she, went, she came to this place, to the place where our lady appeared to her, and she asked our lady to cure her mother, and she promised our lady if she cured her mother, she would come with her sisters uh, for nine days from the top of the, of the hill until the place where she, Our Lady appeared to her on their knees saying the rosary. And in the last day, she would feed nine poor children. So she went back home, her mother had improved. Three days after, her mother was perfect, completely uh, cured. So she came with her sisters from the top of the hill until the place where Our Lady appeared, where is now the Capelinha, on their knees for nine consecutive days. In the last day, she fed the poor children, nine poor children. So um, that's why people, they started to do it uh, straight after this event. Uh, they do it as a sacrifice, they do it as a, 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 a fulfill of a promise, uh, they do it for different reasons. And today here we are remain, uh, reminding you all, uh, we are praying for your intentions, we are praying uh, for uh, the end of the, this pandemic, the coronavirus. Um, and uh, uh, we'll be united in prayer in our thoughts. So may Our Lady keep you uh, strong, keep your faith, keep you safe. So we'll see you next week. Until then, keep safe and God bless you all.